guilt offering. Are there any actions or words spoken that you regret? Use the words of Psalm 139, 23, 24 to think over the past week. Many will remember the story of the grasping tax collector whose life was changed after meeting Jesus, and how he repaid the people he had cheated four times the amount owed. The story illustrates the main point of the guilt offering, which was to make restitution. 5.16.6.5 All sin is an offense to God, and the sin offering was to make atonement, but the guilt offering was to make reparation for the loss or hurt that people had suffered as a result of wrongdoing. There were two main categories of sin that required the guilt offering. One sin regarding the holy things of the Lord. 15. This refers to tithes and offerings which were required or had been pledged. The Israelites gave portions of wine, oil, and grain, but were sometimes guilty of withholding the offerings. We are not obliged by law to give, but the Lord loves a cheerful giver. 2 Corinthians 9 7 and we need to follow the principles of generosity motivated by love. Luke 6.38 We should review our giving regularly lest we be guilty of withholding money that we should be giving for the Lord's service. To sin with regard to our neighbors, 6.2-5 Such as theft, deceit, or hurtful words which damage relationships. As soon as guilt is realized, restitution should be made. Are we fair to those who work under us? Do we give our best at work? Are we honest in claiming expenses? Are we fulfilling the golden rule in all our relationships? Matthew 7:12. Often the consequences of our sin will follow, but we need to do all in our power to put things right so that relationships are restored. Prayer Merciful Lord, forgive me for the times that my behavior or thoughtless words have caused pain. May my love for you and others determine all that I say and do. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Please. Like. Share. And. Subscribe. Our channel.